Empty. Welcome back to ReZero, Anime Review, Episode 49. You're thinking, wait, did you just do one, like, not that long ago for ReZero? Yeah, it was just... About a week ago. Yep, just one week ago I did a review of the previous Light Novel, Volume 20, which was the finale for Arc 5. Now we're on to Arc 6. We have the 21st Light Novel for this series, and... Here's the thing, the book starts off with basically the survivors. Now, here's the thing, uh, Garfield himself is in this book, who played uh, who played Pedro in the last arc. He didn't do much in the previous book. Here he's seen, he's seen, like, I think he's mentioned in the beginning, and then he's absent throughout a good chunk of the book. Uh, he's there, but he's not mentioned by name until toward the end of the book. So apparently we have Anastasia, Priscilla... Uh, Crouch, where they basically, the survivor, basically the army from the, from the last arc, they come to the Roswell Mansion. Now, the case of all of them, this is the first time they've ever been there. And, of course, Petra <laughs> thinks they was going to take it easy, but then she, of course, realizes, though, he lied up, he basically broke his promise. So, she proceeded to basically give him a headbutt, like, a jumping headbutt to the gut. Yes. Excuse me. And... So they make a, they make a plan as exactly what to do next, because it was mentioned in the start of this book. Oh, two two major things. Uh, number one, apparently the whole previous arc, the fifth arc of this whole series, uh, took place. Uh, apparently, five books took place in a period of a month. Yes, a whole freaking month. They don't bring up the fact that that, that Subaru died once that entire arc. And that was back in book 16. The rest of the arc, he never did any, like, coming back to life. Which is strange. It's probably by far the first arc of the whole series where they don't re overuse it. Like, I think the reason why, because, uh, like I mentioned last video, because they used a lot in the last arc. Like, it was, w like, way too much. He, he kept getting killed off in the most bizarre way possible. Like, getting killed by rabbits. Getting killed by... I don't know, drowning and things to Scylla, like various different things here. This book in particular, so the, the thing I also mentioned, apparently a lot of people lost their names. Julius himself is mentioned he's sort of adopted. Okay. So the thing is, Subaru remembers who Julius is, and no one else does. Not even his own master remembers him, the one who basically works for Anastasia. Now, this is something that the series has not explained yet. Why is it that Subaru can remember these people, but no one else does? Yeah. Also, here's the thing. It has been... This is the 21st book of the series. And here's the thing. Has anybody ever bothered to explain of how the heck he was freaking transported this world? Yeah, they mentioned he was transported. He came here from an actual uh, real world. He has. He's never lied about that. He mentioned he is from another world. He does not keep that a secret. Uh, uh, basically, several people do know. I think Amelia knows it, and then a couple of people know but... In the case of, like, who did it and how was it done, never explained. Never was. And you would think, basically, the writer would bother to explain it, but he doesn't. That's a my nitpick. So, I mentioned, like, a lot of people lost names. So, basically, they got to figure out a way to fix that by going to the Peladius Watchtower. So... They, they basically group people which is comprised of basically yeah Amelia, Subaru, uh, Garfield. Eventually he's going. Um, Rem, Ram, 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 uh, Ram is still uh, Ram is still unconscious. Basically they, they go with her to the cure. Uh, various characters go, and then it becomes basically a rip off of Dune. Yes, seriously they go to the freaking desert, and they bow giant worms. Yes, seriously. And by the way, this is the second Isekai series that I know of where they battle freaking worms. Giant worms that look like a dune. The yellow one was a Freya. Yes, seriously. After going to that, at one point in the book, Ram, uh, Ram and Subaru get into a physical altercation with each other. Also, prior to this, uh, Beatrice, who is, well, the spirit who... So as a contract, apparently the sewer was being mean. Amelia invites her to sleep with her. Well, no. 
In case you're curious, though, there's no sex. It just basically sleep in the same bed, just sleeping. Because apparently Beatrice is sleeping in the same bed as Subaru. Which is strange. Yeah, this is not really explained. It just implied basically they share the same bed together, but no sex. At one point, Subaru tells Beatrice he loves her. Which is strange. There's also mention of a kid. A kidna gets mentioned a few times in the book. Mostly by Beatrice. And I think once by Roswell. Roswell, like in the case of the previous arc, he he's only shown at the beginning of this arc. And like he's seen like the first like first chapter of this book, but he doesn't do anything. He just there. Unlike in the case of the four, uh, the fourth arc of the series, where he did play a good supporting role, this these last couple arcs, like the previous arc, he's at the beginning and never seen again to the start of this one. So, and as I also mentioned here, during the course of this journey across the, I think I mentioned it was the call the Augusta Plains. Subaru has died and been resurrected three times and has changed location once. Excuse me. The third time he died, his own steed murdered him. Yeah. Because trying to go to the place and he wouldn't freaking move off the sand. So he smacked his own steed. And then his see apparently the, the mount turned red. And then he ate him. Like, what the heck is this? And, and the way it's written here is that Ram, despite the fact he was fighting her previously, here he's like, either he, he doesn't remember, but basically just, like, it was like in the case of their fight, it was very bloody at best. I don't think he wanted to kill her, he just, because it was up to the point where she's spitting up blood per se. It's like these two using constant magic attacking each other, and also Subaru does his thing of like calling Million Million Ton, which he, by the way, he does in the dub too. Does the EMT thing, which of course that's he's been doing that since the start of the series, which I appreciate the fact that he locate that part about him, where he's very cheerful and obviously in love with Amelia, but it's almost like that portion of like it seems like the high point of that is basically toward the end of the fourth arc where he can finally confess his feelings for her and become officially her knight, and it's almost like this book person. By the way, Petra herself does go on the journey itself. And, by the way, do they reach the tower by the end of this book? Yes, they do. Where they meet a woman. Um, which, by the way, she's actually going to be covered in the next book. Uh, let me find a picture here. That's her. Yep. Which, by the way, this woman here, uh, she's actually the cover of the very next book. Now, if you're curious, though, who is this woman, you might ask? Hmm. That's a really good question. Let me find out who this woman is because there we go. Because basically, this woman does bring the cover of the very next book of the series. Mm -hmm. Her name is Shulula. Yep. Yeah, apparently the whole thing is about her looking for a sage. Yeah, and her first appearance was actually in the in this arc or in the book right here. Which is interesting, though, this is actually her first book that she appears in. Yeah. And she's the guardian of this tower. Which, there's a picture of her online. It's a very beautiful looking tower. Oh, it's called the Allegra Sand Dunes. That was pretty close, yes. So... I guess the whole thing is trying to clear a trial for this arc. Which, that's also kind of the plot of arc 4. Yep. This definitely was a good book, per se. Nothing really wrong with it, per se. It's just that, um... 
I kind of wish they would do a little bit more with this book. Mm -hmm. Like, but don't worry. The next book comes out in a month. Yep, next month is when uh, Volume 22 comes out. 23 comes out in October. And 24. Uh, 24 they have not not released it for you. Oh, the name of this arc is The Corridor of Memories. Yep. Now, this, this arc itself is only five books. Yep, only five. The very next that comes right after this one, which is uh, arc seven. Yes, arc seven. Oh boy, this one is roughly like eight books. And you thought basically that Arc 4 was long. This was longer. But yeah. So I'm going to give this book roughly a 9 out of 10. And I will be reviewing next book when it comes out next month. Okay, so that's the episode of you. Next to the comment coordinates on the EN0. Okay, next video. Bye.